welcome to Random Fandom Chats. I'm Dee Dee. I'm Tandra. And this is Annabeth. Here we talk about pretty much anything geeky related, sci-fi, fantasy, from TV, movies, video games, books, and Comics. Now, usually we pick a topic and we just discuss that from our box. Today we're actually going to be discussing rumors regarding the new Star Wars movie that's going to be coming out today. Now, none of these are concrete. They're just it's just two fans talking about interesting rumors that we've heard. Um, one so, thing we kind of wanted to mention was the passing of Carrie Fisher, which of course struck all of us very deeply. We actually went to go see Rogue One on the day she passed. So, we kind of just wanted to dedicate this episode to her a little bit and Wanted to say just how influential she was to both of us, really, but, uh, you know, especially me, but a lot yeah, to you as well. Too, yeah. You know, she brought this amazing, strong character to life for girls to aspire with for generations. And and it'll always be there, which is really cool. <laughs> and that's a pretty good legacy, in it my is. opinion. It so. is. And one of the things I was always wondering, we kind of mentioned back during our Rogue One episode, was what are they going to do now that she's gone about the new movies? Right. I've heard that um, she did not get to do all of her roles and all of her scenes in the one that's coming out this year. Really? Because I had heard just kind of vaguely from past well, that she might have finished her. Well, I heard that... Uh, after this next one, they do not plan on digitally putting her in any of the other movies. Um, and when they mentioned that, they mentioned that she did not get a chance to finish all of her scenes in Episode 8. Wow, so I wonder what they're going to do about Episode 8. Are they going to digitally redo any of those? I'm not sure, because, because when it was kind of weird. When they mentioned not wanting to digitally you know, CGI her into the movies, I don't know if they were talking about this movie or the next movie. I don't know, because they, they were kind of weird and ambiguous when stating it. They're like, they have no plans on digitally putting her in the next movies. But like I said, I don't know if they were including the one that's coming out this year. Because that's going to be really hard to work around if she's such an integral character. Exactly. I mean, and we don't know how integral she was. Right. But... I mean, because like in the last movie, she was in what? Two, three scenes? Yeah, a few. Um, I mean, she was in a couple when they first showed up, and then she was in the one when they came back to the planet before they went off to find Luke. So Right, and and I always kind of expected a confrontation scene to come about with her and Kylo Ren. I had thought there might be. Yeah, I always thought that that would at least happen in episode 8, and maybe 9. Uh, I, I kind of expected something like that to happen, but obviously, unless she already shot the scene... In episode 8, they're probably not going to have that, which is very sad. It would be, because I think they did such a good job of digitally recreating her for Rogue One that it would be kind of interesting to maybe go ahead and finish her role for the other movies. Although, but maybe, that was in one very tiny, like, 15 second scene. You're right, and, and, and if she was in longer scenes, maybe it wouldn't look right, and maybe they don't want to do that. Mm, um, I think they would... I think they probably think it is a little bit uh, disrespectful in some ways, maybe. Maybe. And that's possible, although I think carrying on her legacy could be also very cool. Very, very um, true. But I also see the point of view of maybe their, their, their feeling as being that way. Hopefully they'll be able to work around it really, really well, and maybe it won't hurt the storyline that much, or they can rework it. Now, what is your opinion? What do you think that they should handle not having Leia in the newer movies, do you think that maybe they should have her die, Leia die in episode 8? I, or do you think they should just kind of not, you know, just mention, not mention her? <laughs> like, mention her, but not really show, show her, her any, you know? I guess it depends on what the storyline involves. I mean, since we don't know what the storylines are... I mean, all we really know is that Rey's been tra is training with Luke on that So island. we don't know how much of an integral character she played in the new movies. Like, was she in two or three scenes? Was she not yeah. really in the movie at all, like Luke was in the first one? Was, was she, she constantly sitting there, you know, yelling at Luke for being I mean, a petulant she... child and running off to an island by himself? <laughs> well, and that kind of goes along with the next rumor, too, is that he actually has a temper in the new movie. Yeah. And actually may even use the Force kind of in kind of a temper tantrum kind of way. God, Luke is such a pain. <laughs> 
Yeah, I swear, he is the only person in a galaxy far, far away who, like, runs away from his problems, going off to a deserted island by himself. That's like, that's like the Jedi equivalent of a teenager, so like, I'm going to my room now! It's like, it's like, Luke is just a perpetual child throughout all these movies, no matter how much of a Jedi master he is. Well, you know, he is Anakin's son, so we kind of got to get kind of a little slack there. Well, Although Leia like, wouldn't do any of that, though. Right. It's like, and you know that Kylo Ren picked up his whiny tendencies from idolizing his grandfather and training with Luke. Because you know he did not inherit any of that from Han and Leia. No, <laughs> no, none of that was from either one of them, for sure. So I don't know. What do you, th- I mean, I'd heard you say in the past that you didn't think Luke would be the type to really have a temper. I don't know, because in... In, Je- in Return of the Jedi, I really felt like he got a lot of that under control. Like, of course, he still had, you know, his scene where anger almost overcame him and he almost killed Darth Vader and, you know, almost got turned to the dark side by the Emperor. But it really kind of felt like he outgrew that, you know, a lot of that anger and temper and a lot See, of See, we don't know the whole story of what happened between Return of the Jedi and Force Awakens. Force Awakens. Awakens. So we don't know... Why he chose to run off to this island. Besides the fact that he lost his school full of potential right. Jedi. So, so we don't know. Maybe his anger is there so strongly. Maybe that is why he wanted to go off Maybe to he felt island. like it was, you know, his duty to, you know, he wanted to protect the people he cared about. And he didn't want his anger to get the better. Right. And, and the rumor specifically was that he was getting upset over, over an con- argument. Over a conversation between uh, Ray, Ray and Kylo, and Kylo Ren. Ren. And that he, like, blew up a hut or something. He yeah, was, like he, was just, he was just basically upset and just went, ah! <laughs> you know, kind of yeah. thing. So which that might honestly, be interesting to see. Which, honestly, um, that anger could stem partly because he uh, sees the potential of Kylo Ren turning Ray to the dark side, but also he's probably very angry that uh, Kylo Ren killed Han. You know, That's pretty much his best friend, and you know, yeah, throughout the series. So I guess, I guess, when we watch it play out, that's going to be, you know. Mm-hmm. But it, if if he doesn't turn to the dark side, we'll be okay. You know, as yeah. long as he doesn't actually turn to the dark side, because that would upset me. I yeah, think. they did that in some of the older books, and I don't like that. Yeah, I don't like the idea of Luke turning to the dark yeah. side. Any like, really we, good character can't turn evil. Right, it's like, we already had a Skywalker turn to the dark side with Vader, and now Kylo Ren. We don't need Well, and in some of the old books where they had the newer, you know, uh, Liam uh, Han's son, Anakin, you know, which was in the old Mm -hmm. you know, not canon stuff. You know, he, you know, basically, you know, kind of, sort of, was teetering on the bad side, and then Jason... You know, their other son kind of went to the mm-hmm. bad side yeah, too. Yeah, he went to the dark side. And I didn't like that. You know, you don't have good guys go bad like that. That just, I think that's a bad precedent, I guess. Yeah, that good always falls or whatever. Yeah, so I don't like that. So as long as Luke doesn't turn to the dark side, I think we'll be okay. And of course, like, we, like we've like we mentioned before, he's always kind of been willing to use a little bit of darker aspects of the Force a little bit. A little bit more. Like in the scene where he is going into Jabba's palace and he force chokes the Gamorrean right, guards. Right, right. So he's so got a little bit of so he's edge a little, to him. A little bit of willingness to kind of delve into the dark side a little bit. So, so I guess I could see... So as he stays basically good will be yeah. okay. Well, what, what was the, uh, some of the other rumors that we've we've seen? Um, we've heard some uh, interesting rumors about the Han Solo movie that's coming out in 2018. Yeah, I had not even known they were even planning on doing any other movies. Boy, Disney's wanting to milk this cow. <laughs> <laughs> they really are. And I think they're particularly wanting to do a Han Solo movie because um, somebody brought up an interesting point with Rogue One. They really tackled a more gritty war type movie and with this uh what what they say somebody else said this they said it was pretty much going to be oceans 11 in a galaxy far far away <laughs> with the han solo movie well because it's supposed to be han and lando and younger you, yeah like before yeah they, like, they met up it, in in new hope yeah so yeah that could be that could be good you know yeah. han's always been a popular character and so seeing some of his roguishness and all before he got it, that could be really interesting and really good. So now I know Woody Harrelson's going to be in it. I don't recognize. I wonder what he would play in it. Uh, the, the mentor, I think, is so, something that I that might be read. intriguing. So I don't know if that's like you know a gang leader <laughs> or the, uh, Han's adoptive father. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. 
Um, but I don't, I don't know about the guy who was actually playing Han. Uh, I don't know the actor. I don't even really remember his name. Uh, it was, somebody had said he was starting to become an up and rising, he was in a Coen Brothers movie mm -hmm. and some other stuff, and so he's really an up and rising kind of guy. Yeah, he's in Hail Caesar, I think. Yeah. And so, but I've never seen that movie, so I'm not sure what this what this guy's what, ability know, as an actor is. Hopefully, it's good. Hopefully, it's good. I mean, so far, I've been pretty you know happy with Disney's decisions and casting. I mean, they the may not movies. be as epic as like A New Hope, Empire, and Jedi were. No, well, well and these kind of side movies aren't really meant right. To be that and way. even the the newer you know episode you know, seven, eight, nine haven't been as epic in a lot of ways. Yeah. Uh, but they're bringing them out every two years, not every three. So yeah, which kinda... I don't really like. I also don't like them come out in December. They needs to be traditionally May. Yeah. That needs to be when they come out. Yeah, they need to do it like they originally did with, you know, three years between each of them and putting them out in May. Because it really builds up the hype and it really makes you really want to It really see. puts a lot of faith in the fact that they really worked hard on these movies and, you right. know, did things carefully and whatnot. I think they're trying to get their billion dollars back. Yeah. Which I suspect they've already done, but, you know. Which also, I kind of want them to spread out because I don't want Star Wars to be over That's yet. true, too. Very true. I it's like, be... I don't want these new trilogy of movies to be over so fast. It's, you know, I want something, you know, you know, six years down the road. It's like, yes, we're going to go see another one. Line. Yeah, we're going to stand in line and, and wait to get into the theater with all these other people. Yeah, I, I agree. Um, another interesting topic um, about the new movie that deals back with Leia again, is that she might actually use the Force to defend herself, mm -hmm. and, which is something we've not really seen her do, do at all. Like, the only things that she's ever really, you know, perceived in the Force is, you know, a connection with her loved ones, like Luke and M at the end of Empire and feeling when Han Solo passed. Right, and that's really died. the only Force things we've ever really seen from her, so being able to see something else would be kind of mm -hmm. interesting. And maybe even a fitting tribute to her last... Last scenes, yeah, you know, it's yeah, like a, I can definitely see that. Can that. Be really cool. Um, the rumor is is that during Han's funeral, there's an assassination attempt on her life. Oh. I, I think, and she uses the Force to protect herself. Well, think about it. The Force is very emotion driven, and she would have a lot of emotion yeah. right then. And plus, mm -hmm. you know, with an attack and everything too, there would be a lot there. She definitely could channel the Force. I always thought she was kind of stronger on the Force than Luke anyway, in a lot yeah. of ways. They never really showed it, but to me it seemed like she would be. She was a lot more innately in tune with the Force, It seemed like she, and, and if she had ever trained with it or done anything with she it. She would have really excelled with it. Which, I think so. Again, in the older, now we'll considered old canon legacy books, um, Luke was trying to teach her a little bit. Right, but she was force. always too busy with politics and things to really get of it course, done. politics. Um, but I think she would have been exceptionally good at it mm -hmm. if if she, if she had really trained with it at all. So I think that would be... Yeah, I, and I really kind of want to see her with, you know, doing some Force things. That'd be really cool. Yeah, that would fit with her character really well, mm -hmm. I think. You know, kind of well, and I'm also, I'm very excited to see Rey be more of a Jedi and be more cool. Like, I would yeah. love... I've talked about this before where I would love the opening scene of uh, episode eight to be her constructing her own lightsaber. That would be way cool. That would be really cool. That and would be. I even kind of envision her lightsaber as being first a double bladed lightsaber because it would go along with um, her using that staff that she used a lot in the first movie. Okay. I think that a double bladed lightsaber being more staff like would be more fitting to her already, you know. Which she's used to. Which she's used to. And I, for some reason, I pictured it as a, with a purple blade. Well, what was it? You, you told me the different colors of the blades meant different things according to some of the things you'd read. What was purple, supposedly? <sighs> I don't know if that's all canon anymore. Well, that's true. that's true. Um. I know uh, blue is usually favored by the more um, warrior-driven Jedi in the days of, you know, Anakin Skywalker and whatnot. Uh, they were the Jedi Guardians. They were the ones who were a little bit more of the fighters, a little bit more, you know, wanting to go out and, you know, settle things with, you know, aggressive negotiations, as they say in the Clone Wars. <laughs> Um, green was a lot more of the Jedi Counselor color. They were a lot more peace-driven. Uh, they would use their lightsabers, but they really preferred not to, or using other parts of the Force. Um, I'm honestly not sure what purple represented. Uh, the only real reason I heard that they brought in a purple lightsaber is because um, 
uh, uh, Samuel Jackson, Mace Windu, he wanted a purple lightsaber. And they were like, okay, sure, that's cool. Yeah, purple's cool. And then they start bringing all the different, you all know, the different amber colors, and like, all these other yeah. colors. Uh, but I think originally the only reason they had purple was because he wanted a purple lightsaber. And they were like, okay, cool. Sounds cool. Yeah, so. All right, yeah, that would be a really nice thing to see her constructing her own. Because that's always a really big kind of a finishing touch to your Jedi training. Mm -hmm. And, and it's your show. passage as a, into a Jedi Knight. Right. Is, that's even um, during the Clone Wars and whatnot. That was kind of like your graduation thing is, you know, you constructed your final lightsaber. And you really... Well, it's definitely going to be interesting to see what the next movie's about mm -hmm. and what's going on. See if any of these rumors are true. Yeah. If any of them I mean, I always try to take these with as much salt as I, you know... And I try not to delve too much, too much into rumors because a lot of times I'm sitting there like, okay, is that rumor true? Is that rumor true? As I'm watching the movie and it kind of ruins the movie experience. A yeah, a little bit. So you kind of oh, okay. Well, it's better than spoilers, though. I really hate spoilers. Yeah. I mean, I, I usually don't mind knowing the plot of movies and things as long as I can sit and enjoy it and all. But when it comes to things like Star Wars, I really want to. You want to go into it not with knowing, no expectations. Yeah, you want to go into it with you know complete fresh white eyes. Yeah. Well, right. I think we're ready to pick out our topic for next time. Yes, we are. All right, what do we got for next time? Lost in Space, the old TV show. Hmm. Do we own any of those? I believe we do. Because I've, I've only seen the pilot. I'm, I'm not sure. We may not. Because we also have the Lost in Space movie, too, but this one specifically said TV, so... We'll Alrighty, right we're going to come back to you guys with an older TV show. Alright, thanks. Remember to subscribe, or like this video if you like it, and tell all your friends, and don't be afraid to leave us some suggestions in the comments. Thank you.